Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Micronesian News Broadcast. Today is March 7, 2019, Thursday. My name is PJ, and I'll be your guide for this episode. And you and I'm pretty sure everybody knows that just a couple days ago was election day. And judging by what I'm seeing, everybody's so antsy to see the results of the votes. So here it goes. Just a little disclaimer. This is the uno official unofficial results. But let's just take this with a grain of salt because of what I just said earlier. So on the island of Fonte for the four year candidates, we have Peter Christian and David Panuelo. Peter Christian got 6,716 votes running in at 49.65% and David Panuelo got 6,773 votes at 50%. And for the two year candidates, we have Esden B. Moses at 2,543 votes and Marcella Jack at 1,155 votes. We also have Fernie Perman at 2,397 votes and Merlin Abello, Alfonso at 2,136 votes. We have Bernie Martin, 1,105 votes and Dion Jeanette at 2,077. We also have Herman Semis Jr. at 1,020 votes and Quincy Lawrence at 1,003 votes. And so, by judging what I have just said, or just said now, all the incumbents remain in their seats. And now, here are the results for Kashra. Four-year term, Yosuo P. George got 1,824 votes at 15.14%, and Aaron B. Pallet got 1,814 votes, 49.86%. Just a mere 10 votes. And for the two year terms, we got Johnson A. Asher at 1,491 votes and Pilot Noah K. Wally at 2,130 votes. And here are the vote results for Chook State. The results for Chook State. For the four year term, we have Wesley Simina running in at 427 votes and Ariano Aaron running at 50 votes with means Wesley Simina takes this. And for the two year votes at Election District 1, Florencio Harper got all the votes because he's the only one running. And for Election District 2, Vicky Gulen got, once again, 100% votes. Renzi and Election District 3, Renz Derecio Conan got 205 votes at 83.7%. And F. Love Milos at 40 votes, 16.3%. Congratulations, Mr. Conan. And for Election District 4, Fightuk represent. Tuita Ar Artos got 117 votes at 99.2%. Manuel Rewitt got one vote at 0.8%, and Smith Paulus got no votes at 0%, which means Tuita Artos just won by a landslide. And for electri Election District 5, this is, once again, this is for two year term and took. <coughs> Robson Romolo got 33 votes at 71.7%. Vitalino Rapsior got 9 votes at 19.6%. Joseph Kono Jr. got 2 votes, 4.3%. Jander Refredon got 2 votes at 4.3%. And Arasel Aichem got 0 votes at 0%. So, we just want to say congratulations to everyone who ran. For those who won or didn't win, we congratulate you for stepping up to the plate and trying to tackle the issues that we uh, have here in our country. And just for a little FYI, on May 11th, the 21st Congress will be in session and that's when everybody will take their oaths. Also, four days after May 11th, the, the President, the Vice President, and the Speaker will be chosen among the four, four uh, at-large Senators. And we can say that Panuelo from Bonte, Simina from Chuk, Yosuo George from Kashrai, and Arisimal from Yak, because Arisimal just won by a landslide. One of those four will be the very next president. Who do you think will be president? Now, this election was a very interesting one. Some people, March 5 was a very pretty hectic day, and it, it took some time for the votes to come out. I'm, I'm assuming it's because there's so many votes. And some interesting things to know is that some people who went to vote said they weren't allowed to vote and they couldn't vote. 
Now, I'm not saying they, there's a conspiracy or anything, or maybe they just, you know, they didn't have their voter ID cards. I'm not sure, but whatever the case, I just hope that next time around, that uh, there's a more smooth process for this vo for this voting because it's very important to us since we are a democratic country run by laws. Once again, who do you think will be the next president? Will it be Panuela from Bonte, Simona from Chuk, George from Kashrai, or Orisma from Yap? Leave us your thoughts in the comments. the announcements. Some of these announcements are just a recap, so just bear with me. Today, there was an event at the, at the Pope Swimming Pool for Women's Day. So I really want to know what happened there. And then, on uh, if you're interested, UN scholarships are now available. There's five scholarships to be exact. And they come in different, uh, they address different issues and uh, subjects such as law, business, money management, fisheries. And they'll be, they'll be taking places like uh, uh, Japan, Greenland, Iceland, Switzerland. If you're interested, go to www.humanrightscareers.org, www.humanrightscareers.org. And this is for all those intellectuals out there. say is now available and open for all FAS students. FAS meaning Palau, RMI, and the FSM. If you're interested, Go to fsm.embassy.gov.au and sign up before April 30th. Now, here is my brother or my sister, whichever one, with the weather report. Hey guys, I'm Alona and I'm giving you the weather report tomorrow brought to you by Bombay Weather Station. 27 degrees Celsius high during the day and 24 degrees Celsius low during the night. Mostly cloudy with isolated thunderstorms and 50% chance of precipitation and 72% of humidity. Sunrise will be at 6.37 a.m. and sunset will be at 6.38 p.m. Northeast winds 15 to 25 knots and seas will be at 8 to 10 feet high. Thanks for tuning in to the Micronesian News Broadcast. Tune in every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for more updates. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, catch you later, y'all.